Technique of the week this week is Kotegashi. Uh, we've done, I think, previously, uh, Shoyoku Ski Kotegashi. So we'll do something as a defense against the back grab for free play. This is on the children's test around the neck from the rear Kotegashi. He comes up behind me and he chokes me. I didn't know this was going to happen. I'm going to spin one foot backward in a circle between us, bending the knees, dipping that shoulder, while the other hand comes across my face as though I'm wiping my mouth from breakfast, okay? One, I'm down low and close, so number one, I stay inside the, the wrap of his arm, so he's unlikely to punch me right away. It's a mistake to step forward, because there, I come out of his hand, he's gonna hit me. Even if he does think of hitting me, if he's that quick-witted, I'm down here, it's hard to hit me hard. I can hit him in a place he doesn't want to be hit, but he can't hit me very easily. I'm going to do two steps. One, two. Okay, one foot backward, then the other foot back. The pin doesn't change much. I slide this hand down in here, step around the head, into a homie, triangular to him, Slowly turn the bicycle by twisting my hips, in that case counterclockwise. Let's look at that again. So I'm going through this hand, this foot goes back in between us, my other hand comes across. I'm not trying to grab his hand, I can't in fact reach far enough to grab his hand. The hand is splayed open and falls into place as I spin. Then I turn my hips to turn the hand over and press on uh, I'll just bring you up a little second. Press on my thumbnail with the heel of my hand. Th this is a good way to, to time your techniques, especially in the beginning, so your partner knows how to fall. There's no reason for him to fall, no reason to fall, no reason to fall. Ah, his body is tilting this way, which tells him, tuck this leg. Okay, in the beginning, people have a hard time figuring out when to fall. They fall too early or too late. What I should do is put the technique on halfway, that tells them when to fall and where to fall. Then I throw the foot back the rest of the way so he can tuck and sit. Grab the elbow, step around the head, and slowly apply the finish. I'm applying the finish, my knees are bent in a wide stance. I'm twisting the hips, which moves that front knee forward and because I'm grabbing the elbow in an awkward fashion, pulls the elbow back. Around the neck from the rear, go take action. Thank you.